We all have a tendency to be blind to our own mistakes. Sometimes we're doing something really stupid, but we have no idea unless someone says something about it. If you want to know when someone is a noob, or if you are that noob, then here are 10 ways to spot a noob in entry point. Number 1. Ignoring indicators. Every time you make a lobby, you can mark it as loud or stealth. The gun icon means loud, and the ghost icon means stealth. Unfortunately, some people just don't pay attention to this when joining a lobby. It's a bit annoying when I make a loud lobby and then like a level 1 hacker joins, asking if it's loud or stealth. Number 2. Useless items. Some items are useless in certain missions. Now, when I say useless, I don't just mean that they're bad or that they're outclassed by another item. I'm also talking about items that literally do not have a use in the mission, like a keycard scrambler and the scientist. Because noobs aren't all that familiar with all the missions yet, they tend to want to bring a bit of everything instead of just the items they need. Number 3. Grenades. To be fair, bringing grenades isn't always a bad idea. If you're playing the lake house, bringing grenades is helpful for taking down the gunship if you know how to aim properly. Otherwise though, grenades aren't all that great. And let's be honest, if you're a noob, then you're probably going to end up blowing yourself up. Number 4. Mixed Loadouts When doing stealth missions, some people like to bring a few loud items as well, such as medkits, and unfortunately, grenades. The idea is that if they fail stealth, then they can try to finish the mission on loud. Now, if you're doing Iron Man mixed, then this actually makes sense sometimes. In normal missions though, it's usually better to just restart if you fail stealth. And if you're doing a stealth daily challenge, then you have even less of an excuse to do this as you literally cannot do loud. Number 5. Bad Thumper Aim I think most of us have accidentally blown ourselves up with a thumper at one point or another. Although aiming a thumper isn't hard, it may take a bit of practice to learn the appropriate angle and distance from the target. So if you're new to the game, you may want to let a more experienced teammate handle the thumper, or else this will happen. Number 6. Ruining the no kills bonus in every stealth mission except Black Dusk, you get more XP if you don't kill anyone. Although there can be situations where you have to shoot someone so they don't raise the alarm, this is rare and you should avoid killing unless you have to. Unfortunately, some players just don't get it. Number 7. Bad Grinding Strategies Leveling up is very important in entry point, but some strategies are better than others. I've seen people who are like level 30 but are still grinding rookie, which is painfully slow. Conversely, some people try to grind legend before they're good enough to do it correctly. This leads to either lots of failed runs or lots of really slow runs. Overall, if you can't do a mission consistently and at least somewhat quickly, then it's not optimal for grinding. Number 8. Firing unsuppressed weapons in stealth. I know this is kind of a meme at this point, but it's a very real thing. And it's especially frustrating when it happens toward the end of the mission. Number 9. Bringing a UP9 and 480 MCS in loud. If this isn't a dead giveaway that someone is a noob, I don't know what is. This loadout is obviously not optimal, it's just that these are the two guns that you start with. Thus, if someone brings this combination to loud, then they probably don't have any other guns yet. Number 10. Shooting for no reason in stealth. So one time, I was carrying someone in a stealth mission and I was inside the building doing objectives while they waited outside. But then, all of a sudden, they start firing their gun repeatedly for no reason. At least their gun was suppressed, which is a start, but it was still audible inside the building. This made several NPCs stop in place, and I almost got detected as a result. Generally when people do this sort of thing, they probably think it's harmless and they don't realize that it can mess up their teammates. Before I end the video, I just want to say that we're only new at something, and obviously it's okay to not be good at everything. For a lot of people, Entry Point is just a game they play a few times for fun, 
and not something they dedicate hours into mastering. So if you see anyone doing something on this list, obviously it's annoying, but don't be super judgmental about it. Also, if you're a 13 or older, then consider joining the unofficial entry point server. It's the best place to hang out with the entry point community. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.